Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here. So the Washington football team just lost 30 to 10 to the Los Angeles Rams in a very, very terrible performance by Washington. Alex Smith did make his historic comeback, but did not end up playing well. If you guys are new, subscribe for Washington and NFL content. So let's get right into the video. And remember, check out House of Hoodies. Um, use code Pedro for 15% off. They got some really good Washington jersey hoodies and NFL jersey hoodies. Got a Sean Taylor one and some other ones. So let's get into it. Um, 30 to 10 and let's just, the offense was absolutely terrible i mean how a hundred and i can't even it's barely over a hundred yards of total offense alex smith played over a half of football over a half of football and had 37 yards passing and yes guys trust me i understand he did not have any weapons it was raining the offensive line was terrible he was playing against jalen ramsey aaron donald but dude come on like he had to play better and what ended up happening, I'll give you guys some news while we're at it. Ron Rivera did say that next week, if Kyle Allen is fully ready to go, he will be the starter over Alex Smith. He said he didn't want to um, risk further injury for Kyle Allen because that's what I was kind of wondering. Why are you not putting Kyle Allen back in? And I guess also at the same time, you know, you can't really take Alex Smith out after, you know, it's his first game back in two years. It's a feel-good story, but... 9 for 17, 37 yards. That's about, that's, that's just, that's not good enough. He got sacked six times, but part of those were him running into the sacks. I mean, Kyle Allen played against the same defensive line, had the same offensive line, and only got sacked two times in the first half. And you know, Kyle Allen did not play perfect, but he led us on a 73 yard drive and we scored a touchdown. He was looking okay. I thought that we, sh I mean, I think, the game would have been a lot closer if he was still in there. It's way, way too hard to tell, but yeah, I'm, I'm really upset. I'm sorry, guys, if I don't sound like my usual self. I had to record. This is the third time I've recorded this. I've just, th this game really, really frustrated me. This was very, very hard to watch on both sides of football. At least the defensive side cleaned it up in the second half, only allowing 10 points. Let's go look at, uh, I would say the three players that played decent today will go ahead and say uh, Montez Sweat, Jonathan Allen, and Kendall Fuller. I, I thought they all played good. Kendall Fuller might have had a lapse in coverage there. We don't know for sure who that's on, if that's on Landon Collins or if it's on Kendall Fuller. We don't know. The defensive coordinator obviously knows who had responsibility on who, but besides that, no one really played that great. Chase Young played all right. He had a tackle for loss, but he was getting double teamed the whole time. Can't expect too much from him, but you know, I was, exp I thought he should have played a little bit better, but you know, th that's definitely not the reason why we lost this game. And Montez Sweat also did have a forced fumble, so that was good by him and a sack. JD McKissick, 46 yards uh, receiving, McLaurin, 26, Gibson, 24. McLaurin should have had a touchdown, but Alex Smith overthrew him a little bit. But that was that was very close to being like a 60-yard completion by um, Alex Smith or even more. That would have been a nice feel-good story. Kyle Allen ended up having a rushing touchdown. That was good by him. But, I mean, there's almost zero. Abs there's almost zero positives to this game. I mean, our offense barely got over 100 yards of total. That's just terrible. Um, we got sacked eight times, had a pass rating of 67. Keep in mind, Dwayne Haskins average pass rating this year was over 80. I'm, no, I'm not saying Dwayne would have necessarily been or would have played better than Kyle Allen, but the quarterback was definitely not the only issue. I, I hope next week Kyle Allen is a starter. And again, I understand uh, Alex Smith, the that some people want him to play, but give him a little bit more time. He has to get, he, remember, keep in mind, he's, he hasn't gotten any reps with the first team or second team, really, or barely. He's gotten some reps with the second team, but I think give him a couple more weeks to play behind Allen, get him a little bit more acclimated to the offense and the players, because you could see he had no chemistry with the offense, and um, yeah, also, he wasn't preparing for this game. I mean, obviously preparing to be a backup, but he got thrown in there, not in the best situation, but you do expect him to play better. Um, but again, you got to keep in mind his first game in over two years or two years, but still um, Gibson didn't play great. 11 carries for 27 yards, but again, really not on him. Defense or offensive line did not block well on the, the man. The play calling, the play calling was 
absolutely terrible by Scott Turner. Again, not a good day by him. We have 38 yards rushing, 111 yards receiving. Not a good get day at all. And then, you know, Kyle Allen was playing pretty good, like I said. And um, we only scored seven points with him, really 10 because of the field goal. But Alex Smith got credited for that. But the, the offensive players overall didn't help him at all. I mean, Jeremy Sprinkle sure wasn't a perfect throw by Kyle Allen, but it's still a catchable throw, and he dropped that, and that would have moved the chains and got a first down for us. And, you know, it was just not a good day for pretty much everyone on the Washington football team. We'll see how we respond next week against the Giants. But, I mean, the Giants at least put up a fight against the Rams. This game was pathetic. We'll see what happens next week. Kyle Allen's final stats, 9 for 13, 74 yards, um, and a pass rating of 83 Alex Smith stats 9 for 17, 37 yards, um, and a pass rating of 58.7. Man, I love Alex, and please, please, please don't dislike this video just because I'm saying Alex Smith didn't play uh, great. And like I said, I understand he's put in a terrible situation. Um, we'll see how he responds, but he just didn't look like himself. Um, he was very slow in the pocket and really just kept on running into sacks he wasn't evading pressure Kyle Allen was getting pressured but he at least was able to throw the ball away and or at least rush for a little bit Alex Smith wasn't able to do that but again we'll see what happens with him in the next few weeks um but yeah, J.D. McKissick played okay, but his his awareness was not good. I mean, you got to get out of bounds those last two plays in the court, or before the first half ended. Same thing with Isaiah Wright. Really, on the offensive side, I don't think a single player, maybe, yeah, I don't think a single player played good today. Um, I guess J.D. McKissick, 46 yards receiving, but still uh, didn't play great. Who knows if anyone on the offensive line played well, maybe. Uh, I didn't hear Jerron Christian's name, so maybe he played all right. I still doubt it. On defense, um, Jonathan Allen Montez Sweat played pretty good. And same with Kendall Fuller. John Bostic was absolutely terrible again. Allowed so many yards to the tight ends. Apke got benched, but I think he got put back in for DeShazio Everett. So had no idea what was happening uh, this game. This game, uh, Cameron Curl also did not play good. Allowed a touchdown. Um, this game was, guys, this is just disappointing. Um, I thought we'd at least put up a fight. If Kyle Allen would have played the whole game, it might have been a little bit different, but who knows? Who knows? We'll see next week. Um, I want to hear your guys' opinion on this game. Who do you think is at blame? Actually, I want to say this. Ron. Ron, I mean, he decided to put Kyle Allen in for Dwayne Haskins, and we'll see. Kyle Allen didn't play bad, but he didn't play. He wasn't way better than Dwayne Haskins he might have been he was probably a little bit played a little bit better but definitely wasn't way better than Dwayne Haskins and Ron decided to make this move and you know I'll give him a few more weeks but we'll see if we'll see if this decision ends up panning out to be the right one there's rumors about Dwayne getting traded you guys have all seen that so it's going to be interesting to see how this all plays out tonight or in the next couple of days if Kyle Allen ends up playing I I, I want to give Kyle, I want to see what Kyle Allen does especially against the Giants Cowboys give him a couple more weeks and you know we'll see what ends up happening um thank you guys for watching hope you guys um enjoyed the video subscribe if you guys are new turn on those post notifications so you never miss a video and peace